There is a sharp smell in the air as you go about your morning walk, especially near blocks 7, 8, 9 and 10 of Utsav in Bhivari. This smell has persisted for the last one year at least. Glancing towards the west of Utsav, you are horrified to see a sea of red-brown putrefying sludge. Where has it come from? It was not there a year ago, you wonder. On closer inspection, you see there is a drain that has brought the horrible water onto this land next to Utsav. This drain has flowed day and night, bringing yellow-colored water. Later, this water dries and the resulting sludge turns brown-red. No vegetation, not even mosquitoes, can live in this sludge. Where has this dirty water been coming from? It comes from the seven feet wide drain that runs parallel to the Ashiana Road and is about 30 feet away from Ashiana village boundaries. Perhaps because of protests from Utsuvites, VML, Modern School and others, UIT is planning to divert this industrial wastewater via this pipe to the next plot of land. There, this land belongs to the housing board. But for Utsa, they, this will be scarcely better as it will be still a hundred meters or so from our bow well. The Bivari drain must have been built originally for rainwater, but now reportedly carries six to nine million liters a day of industrial wastewater, more million liters of sewage, as well as rainwater. As you can see, the Bivari drain ends at Nagina. There is no proper outfall for this drain. With millions of liters of waste let out into the Bivari drain every day, it is bound to overflow. For the last many years, it has overflowed and the wastewater has run off onto Sohna Road and then beyond it into Haryana. That is perhaps because the natural gradient of the land is towards Haryana. Rajasthan government agencies paid Haryana government agencies to allow this drain to carry water onto Haryana's land via a drain continued on Haryana's soil. But Haryana has refused to accept the industrial wastewater as it has already ruined crops, homes and villages on their land for years. Therefore, for the last many years, this mix of treated and untreated water has been let out on one empty plot or the other in various parts of Bhivari and also Dharuhera. It has reportedly caused untold misery by ruining crops, homes and health of the populace around Bhivari. Now it is our turn.